Welcome back to the Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from its complicated channel. You know, he his questioning is just so superior. I learned so much from his videos. So please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. Let's get to that chow. It's chow time. When it comes to relationships, what does it mean when people say men are supposed to lead? When it comes to relationships, when it says men are supposed to lead, I mean, men are supposed to take initiative. They're supposed to, you know, show their girl for the best example for them, you know, lead, uh, have them doing the right things, motivate them, and just keep them acting right for themselves so they can both be better together. He leads, meaning he's the leader of the house. He has to be taken care of. He's providing for us. He's making sure that we have everything we need. So ultimately, we need to make sure that he has everything he needs. That was a good answer. The provider, the protector. Um, he should lead his woman in like, you know, the right direction. He's the king, so. I feel like that dates back. Like a woman wants a man to provide. They want them to dominance. That's really what it is. Like These women have never thought about it, ever, really. They just, <laughs> they literally just spout whatever uh, Evanism tells them to spout. And they actually never think critically about any of these subjects like you want a dominant man you don't want a submissive man you don't want to bow down to him you want him to bow down to you walk on this you don't want to bow down to him you want him to bow down to you that's like the opposite of what we were asking side of danger <laughs> and sleep in the bed on the side of danger and protect i think that's what it means wouldn't that make men more accountable yes wouldn't that make men more accountable Oh, absolutely. Yeah, men should be accountable in this world. Yep. Yes, it definitely makes men more accountable because it's not only, they're not only leading themselves, they're leading their wives, their kids, whoever's in that house. So yeah, definitely. If women are the ones who determine that men should lead, wouldn't that mean that women are really the ones in charge? Women are definitely not the ones in charge. It's a man's world. Women are always in charge. Exactly, yes. See his power. <laughs> women are in charge. Uh, well, women think they're in charge. Women are, women are in charge of the sexual market because they have to give us permission to hit, but we're in charge of the rings that they want so much, yep. right? A lot of dudes don't understand our power. A woman can want, 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 and she can call herself a bad bitch, a dime, whatever she says, but if I don't think it, if I don't see the value, she's not gonna get the ring. This is where simps come in. They're the ones that give these women the value that they feel. If there weren't any simps and all the men were, you know, into themselves as in they know their birth, they know their value, and they know the type of men, the type of women they want. Most of these women would never get anything. They would never get any attention. But because how thirsty men are as a, as a gender, they're always going to get something. And that's, it's hard to battle against when society has made men so weak and so dependent on you know corn and the government i believe that women are always in charge because we know how to per se men so we know how to make it make you think that it's your own idea so ultimately women do run but we know how to make a man feel good so he think that he's in charge how can men lead if it's by women's terms See, that, that, that thing is so stupid. Like, they're already leading. They're already doing the things. How can you make them think that they're in charge when you, the reason you chose them in the first place was that they can lead and be in charge? <laughs> so, so freaking stupid. That's true. We can't. We can't. I mean, they expect us to. And I mean, we do the best job we can. The man is the head, the woman is the neck. Basically what that means is that the woman can direct which way his head turns. So ultimately he is leading, but the woman is directing where he goes. You know, the head still controls the neck, right? <laughs> the brain, the head, the mind still controls where the neck actually goes. So you can be the neck, but if he doesn't agree with you, He's not going to turn the way you want him to turn. That's the thing that women don't seem to... The, they seem to think that being the neck lets you control or everything. And it says, no, you can point him, your neck, as in you can point him into a certain direction. He can look at it and decide for himself, does he want to go that way? No. Then he's going to go the other way. That's, that's how it works. Why do women complain about men being in charge when women wanted it that way? I don't know because I'm not one of those women. I don't have an answer for that. Um, 
women just like to complain sometimes. Ooh. I feel like that's more of this generation just because everybody wants to be an independent woman. Everybody wants to be a bad bitch. But ultimately, everybody... I'm not to hate on this woman, but to be out in Vegas with her hair like that, like, come on, you could do better. Everybody wants to be taken care of. So I feel that our generation now, a lot of women want to be taken care of, but they also don't want to do what's necessary to be taken care of. And they Yeah, like your hair. <laughs> also want their cake and eat it too, kind of in a way. Now the society is all this propaganda with the TV and the Cardi B's and all this. Women feel like when they have their own shit, that that makes them the leader. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't make them the leader, it makes y'all an adult. I'm gonna piss Correct. some ladies off. At the end of the day, men are gonna be men. Like, they love women at the end of the day, and if you're in a relationship, you're pursuing her. So you're gonna want to follow what she is expecting from you. If everyone wants men to lead, is it any wonder why most leadership positions are held by men? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but females also play such a huge role in leading the world, I feel like. Like, without a female, a man's home would fall apart. We live in a society where men have the power no matter what. Unfortunately, you know, women just don't, we're not in a position to lead. As much as we would like to, we don't get that power. We are not given that opportunity, and that's just that. We're just going to have to live with it. It's just always going to be like that. When it comes to relationships, are men more likely to be held to a masculine standard than women are held to a feminine standard? Yeah, yeah, they are, and that's not fair. No, I think people can just be whoever they want to be, you know, just express them that themselves. Please. You can be anything, people. Shut the fuck up. No, you can't be anything. This is, you're the type of people that lets men be women and go to bathrooms and do whatever they, into women's spaces. Because everybody can be whatever they want. You just, you just say it and believe it and then now I'm a fucking giraffe or whatever the fuck it is. You're fucking stupid. However they want to express, you know, whoever really cares about if you're too feminine or too masculine in any sense, you know? It's fucking bullshit. You guys always talk about toxic masculinity and how men are trash. This is why men can't be as masculine as they want. As a man, you can't show any type of emotion, bro. If you show, if you show too much emotion, girls already give uh, the soft vibe. Now you go in the category as you're soft. If you, if you give off not enough emotion or, you know, you don't show enough emotion, then they say you don't know how to communicate or that you're just too closed off. Yep. Men should be in their masculine at all times. If you're living your full truth as a man, you're in your masculine no matter what. Yeah, what right. are those standards and who defines them? Um, the standards are, I mean, just being a, a real man as a provider um, is a leader, you know, is going to take care of his family, his community, and he's going to do great things because a man with morals, a man with principle that holds his principle and morals when it comes to the fire. People that bend their whim and principles are not true people or not true men. He's living his purpose. Don't a lot of women want a guy who's six feet tall, six pack abs, six figure income? Well, don't a lot of men want a girl who had a fat ass and a, a small waist and a big chest and able to ride dick in the middle of the night and get up and take care of- See, that's the thing. Yes, men would like that, but we're not only settling for that. That's the difference. Are the kids in the morning? Aren't a lot of women born with those qualities while men typically have to yeah, earn their- no, Do you not know how many people got BBLs? You not know how many women literally change their image just to be accepted by male standards to nowadays? I, as a man, don't care we if don't you got care. red bottoms or blue bottoms. That shit impresses the other women and shit. Correct. I want to know, I want to know, am I going to have a home cooked meal? Am I going to have a support system, a helpmate, shit like that. I don't give a fuck about your BBL or your BBL bag. It doesn't matter. But women, they spend too much time oppressing other women because dudes don't care about yep. that. When a woman says she's tired of dating men, why do they often end up dating a woman who looks and acts like a man? Maybe they're attracted to masculine energy and not men. Men, they like the masculinity. They just maybe want more sensitivity or maybe because most women are better at eating pussy. I don't know. That was an awesome chow, you know? This is where you see the difference between men and women and when, when you think about it, both, both are just as fucked up as each other, you know? Uh, society raised them both to be the opposite of what they needed to be.
so uh, I stopped it there just because I wanted you guys to go over to uh, it's complicated channel if you wanted to watch the rest watch the rest over there just to help promote the man you know he, he's doing great work out there so please like subscribe down below I'd really appreciate that and I'll get you guys next time Let's check out.